Your soil can look fine on the surface and still be completely dead underneath. No life, no movement, no future. And if you've ever pushed a shovel into hard, compacted ground and felt that dull resistance, you already know the frustration. What I'm about to share isn't hype. It's not a shortcut or a gimmick. It's a simple organic liquid that turned lifeless soil into a living ecosystem in just two days. And when the worms showed up by the thousands, I knew everything had changed. Welcome back to Timeless Crops Haven. Let's get straight into what actually works. Dead soil is the real reason gardens fail. When plants struggle, most people blame seeds, weather or nutrients. But the real problem usually lives below the surface. Dead soil is dry, compacted, low in oxygen and almost empty of microorganisms. Roots suffocate. Water runs off instead of soaking in. Fertilizers wash away or burn plants because there's nothing alive in the soil to process them. Healthy soil isn't dirt. It's a living system. And the fastest way to know whether your soil is alive or dead is simple. Look for worms. If you dig and find none, your soil is starving for life. That was exactly my situation. No worms, no structure, no progress. So instead of adding more fertilizers, I focused on feeding the soil itself. Why worms change everything underground? Worms are not just a bonus. They are the foundation. When worms move through soil, they create tunnels that allow oxygen and water to reach plant roots. Those tunnels prevent compaction and give root space to expand. Every time a worm eats organic matter, it turns it into castings that are loaded with nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and trace minerals in forms plants can actually use. Worm activity improves soil texture, increases moisture retention and kickstarts nutrient cycling. Worms also attract beneficial microbes and other soil organisms, creating a balanced underground ecosystem that keeps improving over time. If you want fast, visible proof that your soil is healing, well, worms are the signal you're looking for. The simple liquid that woke the soil up. The turning point came with compost tea. Now, this isn't compost soaked in water and dumped on plants. Real compost tea is a living microbial brew designed to inoculate soil with beneficial bacteria and fungi while feeding existing life. Within 48 hours of applying it, the soil darkened, stayed moist longer, and amazingly began to move. Worms surfaced, not a few, thousands. The soil went from silent to alive almost overnight. And, you know, the best part is just how simple it is to make. So, how does compost tea work so fast? Well, compost tea works because it delivers biology directly into the soil. The microorganisms in the tea break down organic matter into plant-available nutrients. They also create these sticky compounds that bind soil particles together into aggregates, which, you know, really improves structure and airflow. Molasses plays a key role here. It acts as food for microbes, helping them multiply rapidly during brewing and after application. When you pour compost tea into soil, you're not feeding plants directly. You're feeding the entire soil food web. Worms respond because their food source explodes almost immediately. 
That's why, you know, the results happen fast. The exact compost tea formula that triggered the worm explosion. Well, this is the same formula used to revive compacted, lifeless soil. The measurements matter, absolutely. Start with a clean five-gallon bucket. Add, um, two to three cups of organic compost. Homemade compost works and store-bought organic compost works just as well, as long as it contains no synthetic additives. Fill the bucket with four and a half gallons of non-chlorinated water. If you're using tap water, let it sit uncovered for at least 24 hours so chlorine can evaporate. Chlorine kills microbes and, well, microbes are the entire point. Add five tablespoons of unsulfured molasses. This equals one tablespoon per gallon of water. Molasses is not optional if your goal is rapid microbial growth and worm attraction. Stir the mixture thoroughly for several minutes to distribute oxygen and nutrients. Let it brew for 24 to 48 hours in a shaded area. Stir occasionally during this time. You want the tea to smell earthy, not rotten. A foul smell means anaerobic conditions and that batch should not be used. After brewing, you'll want to strain out the solids using a cloth or a fine mesh. What remains is a living liquid, absolutely loaded with beneficial organisms. So, how do you apply it for maximum impact? Well, you should apply compost tea directly to the soil, not the leaves. Use a watering can or a sprayer without a fine mist. And honestly, you want the liquid soaking right into the root zone. Pour it evenly around your plants and across any bare soil. One five-gallon batch covers, oh, roughly 100 to 200 square feet, depending on your soil condition. Apply during the early morning or late afternoon to protect microbes from direct sunlight. Within hours, microbial activity increases. Within days, worms respond. Within weeks, soil structure begins to change permanently. What changed in the soil after 48 hours? The first noticeable change was moisture retention. Soil that previously dried out within hours stayed damp. Next came aeration. Worm tunnels allowed air to penetrate deeper layers, improving root respiration. Then came nutrient availability. Plants showed stronger colour and new growth because nutrients were finally being cycled properly by microbes and worms working together. This wasn't a temporary boost. It was the beginning of a self-sustaining system. Why this beats fertilisers every time? Fertilisers feed plants. Compost tea feeds soil. That difference, well, it really matters. Without soil life, fertilisers either wash away or cause salt buildup that damages roots. With living soil, nutrients are stored, released slowly and recycled naturally. Worm castings continue improving fertility long after application. This approach, you know, really reduces the need for constant inputs. The more life you build, the less work your garden needs from you. This works for any garden and, well, any scale. 
Whether you're growing vegetables, herbs, fruit trees or crops, the biology is honestly the same. Soil life doesn't care about plant type. It simply responds to food, moisture and oxygen. You don't need expensive tools or commercial products. All you need is compost, water and, well, patience for 48 hours. Once worms return, everything else just gets easier.